I am an author and my first book was published in India. I didn't have much control at all over that. And I got to a point where I was writing three books. They needed to be published. But I wanted my books to have my essence, my feel. So I invested in learning how to publish. Imagine if you live somewhere and somebody else has decorated it, you're not going to feel connected to it. But if you create a book where it's like your home, it comes alive. And when people open it up, it feels like that person. It's not just words on a page. If you're self-publishing for the first time, you can get lost in the process. I do know a friend who's written a book and gone through and edited it probably about 20 times. The book has never been published because he's just so lost in making sure that it's right. That's why it's important to have someone guiding you through the process and going, okay, you've done this part, it's complete. In the process of creating the book, we work with getting the ideas of what they want their book to look like. So what do they want on the cover? What is important to them on the cover? With formatting, I'm kind of calling myself a formatting artist now because what we do together is create a whole new experience. We will sit there for as long as it takes to get, get this looking like it's their book, like their vision of a book. Having a designer who can work with your ideas and, and make sure that it all fits and is going to look right on your book. Your cover is what speaks to people first. We want the best book possible. Your time is valuable. Spend the time getting the message out. I am an author. This is my book. And when you do that, you get bestseller very quickly because people are ready and eager to read your book.